Very pleased to be joined by Ohio State head coach Ryan Day. Coach, your first full season, obviously, in charge of this program. Last year, you did run camp. So, uh, you know, that is not completely new to you. But how are things different given the fact that it is your program now? Well, I, I think going into this camp, obviously I had an opportunity to really, you know, spend time planning everything out. Last year, you know, we were kind of going day to day a little bit. Now we're more organized, more like a regular preseason camp and, and uh, you know, moved into the hotel yesterday, had three good days and had another good day today. What are the biggest things you learned from watching Urban Meyer run this program that you want to apply to your Ohio State I, program? I couldn't just say one thing. Uh, I learned something every day about pushing the staff, about motivating the team, pushing the right buttons, uh, focusing on the right things, and that every team is a different team. Uh, I, I couldn't just say one thing, but there's so much that goes with it, and from special teams to the plan to win to just the way we teach things on a daily basis. Coach, you mentioned staff. How much time are you spending with the defensive staff? Uh, you know, Greg and, and Jeff are, are two guys that I trust, and, and, and they're running the defense. Uh, but, you know, I go in there, stick my head in the meetings at times and, and make sure that I'm involved. Special teams is allowing me to, to be around the guys on defense more. Uh, but, but they're running it. I trust them. Uh, sometimes I'll see something and mention something. But, but it has to fit within our culture, and that was part of the conversations we had in the off season, and it's been good so far. Coaches, you talk about <clears throat> coaching the coaches and also coaching the players, motivating them. What did you do or what are some of the things that you may have read to get you to a point where you wanted to use different things to try to get them up to speed and press all the right buttons? Yeah, it's just part of being a leader. Now, you know, growing up, being a captain and, and playing sports, you know, you're a leader of, of your team. And then as you get older, you become a leader as a coach and you have your unit. Uh, and then you become a coordinator, you become the leader of, of your side of the ball. And then when you become the head coach, you're the, you're the leader of, of your group. And it's all about creating a vision and motivating guys and, and creating that trust within the staff to make sure that they believe in you and pushing the right buttons and challenging them and making it, making it hard. But at the same time, there's a respect level there. And we got a great group. You know, I, mean, I think these guys are self-motivated, did a great job with the staff. And, uh, but, but it's a daily grind. What do you miss? And I'm assuming you do miss something about being an assistant coach. What do you well, miss? Well, it's just, I think it's just the day-to-day, one-on-one relationships you have with your guys. You know, you get spread a little thing when you're a head coach. Well, let's talk about a big topic that I'm sure everybody's been waiting for now. Know here, Howard. Let's go quarterback. Yeah. Just yeah. a little bit. Just how the development of not just Justin, but the entire room, how's that been developing and what have you seen in practice? Well, we, we have a lot of offense. We have a lot of offense. Um, you know, when, when you go back and look at some of the things we did last year, the year before, there's, there's a lot that goes on. And so, um, you know, they're still in the process of learning that offense. You know, we're in day four installation. And so when you're installing, it's not about getting into a rhythm, really. It's more about installing the plays and the concepts so that we can draw upon them later in the season. Um, but, but they're picking it up well. They're picking it up well. Uh, it's one thing to know something in the meeting room, but it's another thing to put it on the field. And there's only one way to learn. And that's to fail. And I believe that. Uh, you know, you, you find your limitations when you fail. Uh, the good ones, though, once they fail, they learn, and then they correct it. And, and so we're in the process of that right now. Is You know, the guys are doing some really good things. They've made some mistakes. But then now we've got to go on the film, learn from it, and then improve. What, what ultimately will determine who that guy is going to be that's under center? Because it's a competition right now. Yeah, at first got to take care of the ball. And then whoever gives us the best chance to move the ball down the field and, and, and be the most productive on offense. You've talked about leadership. What do you enjoy the most about running this whole operation? Well, it, it's such a wonderful place, first off. I mean, it's, it's, it's the best place in the country to coach football. The tradition is unbelievable here, as you guys know. <laughs> and, you know, again, I, I say it all the time. When I walk down the hall and see the people that have come before, it blows you away. Uh, the people of Ohio, the people that support Ohio State, not only in Columbus, in the state, but throughout the country. And there's just a certain level of expectation. Everything matters here. You're so relevant in everything you do on a daily basis. And they watch everything. You know, it's, so there's positives and negatives to everything. Right. They're involved with everything. And, and, you know, just the people that, that cover here and the people that support us, it's such a great place. And that, it's just great to be part of something at the highest, highest level. What excites you the most about this team right now? The talent level, uh, the chemistry. And, you know, I think that there's a high ceiling here. And it's, it's fun to be kind of in the first week of this thing to figure out what's the journey going to look like? You know, what are the pieces and how is it going to go? Um, you won't know until you play. You know, once you play, you really get a feel for what's going to happen and how the things are going to play out. I'm interested to see how the young guys are going to step up, how some of the older guys who have been here before, but what, what are they really going to play like? You know, and I'm, I challenge the guys all the time. Veteran guys have to play veteran. 
The really good players have to play good. Chase Young, J.K. Dobbins, you know, uh, Ben Vick. Those guys have to play good. They have to play veteran. And then the younger guys have to pick up the slack from underneath and grow. Ohio State head coach Ryan Day. Coach, thanks a lot for your time. Really appreciate it. Good to see you. Yeah, great seeing you guys.